on, we got this sucker for like 159. On Amazon, I think it was maybe 169. They're as cheap as I think oh. 129, depending on the model <clears throat> you get. Which, granted, that's and the not, color and all yeah, that. Yeah, and that's not chump change, but I mean, people used to pay that much or more, and probably still do for Keurigs, which is not going to be the same coffee experience that this is. Um, so just we're, we're going to do an unboxing. We'll do probably an in-depth review maybe later on at another point. I'm yeah. Just going to give you an unboxing and give you an overall. What we liked about this one specifically is um, with the Virtuo line, the I guess the short version of the PR on it is essentially it is pods. So you know it's it's aluminum pods. Oh wait, I have one in that's loose because he went to the Nespresso store. Yes, perfect. So this is the pod, and essentially goes into the machine, and the, it actually reads this barcode, and the way it brews is through centrifugal force. It spins this at 7,000 revolutions per minute and extracts the coffee that way, not through a standard pressure like most espresso machines are, and then you get this what they call a, a crema or crema or a head, almost think of like beer foam, on top of the coffee that's really luxurious, delicious, in addition to the fact that they do really interestingly, sustainably sourced, um, sometimes single blends coffees. There's probably 15 different types of coffee to choose from. Really, really cool stuff. Um, and you can do actually espresso pods in here as well. Um, they offer two capsule sizes. They brew in three different cup sizes, all the way down from, um, I think, literally like one and a third ounce to which is espresso size espresso size to close to eight ounces your standard cup of coffee in america and then also a larger 14 ounce which i consider almost a travel size coffee. for those commuters on the go like us <laughs> so um, what's interesting and confusing for us at least was so for the nespresso virtuo virtuo, I guess virtuo it's virtuo plus deluxe line which is the deluxe difference between deluxe and non-deluxe i think is like maybe it heats up a little faster i think the accents are chrome instead of just plastic and it's a 60 ounce water capacity um, I think that's because they release pods to eventually do 14 ounce servings so, and they, so need they needed more water for that yep and so what's interesting though is they partner with and they're in America and in, in the UK and Europe and I think <coughs> elsewhere they partner with other uh, let's call them vendors or manufacturers to manufacture the, their machines so you can get the Nespresso virtual plus deluxe essentially the same model made by Breville or made by Delami. They're supposed to be the same specs, do the same things, the same price. They look visually just a little bit different, but it's supposed to be the same machine because they're not called the Virtual Plus Blah or Blah. It's just by Delami or by Breville. And some of the reviews say that Breville tends to leak potentially, or at least the original design. And this was first released in 20, I think early 17. Um, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Leaked, which supposedly may have fixed, but we'll see. But we're getting into the Delonghi. So this is specifically for the Delonghi for anyone who's researching. It looks like it's pretty, oh. That is a beautiful pull apart. I must say I appreciate that so you don't get the crazy squeals that normally yeah. kill your ears. Um, and then here we've got the drip tray, which is actually, yeah, this is like a very nice solid um, chrome of sorts. Pure oh, it's heavy. It's got a, yeah, it's got a heft to it. And this is your drip tray that actually goes down in there. Um, but we'll get to that later. Lift this out. Wonderful. This is fun. This is, again, it's... Um, sampler pack. And what's nice is they do tell you, again, all about Does their, smell like coffee? their standard, but shouldn't, because it should be hermetically sealed. Can I smell sealed. it, please? <laughs> nope. No, it doesn't. Good. Good. As it should not. Um, so down here, I believe we have their espresso capsules, and as you can see, it's a little bit uh, shallower or thinner. Very different than their original line, espresso capsules, however. Um, and then here's their coffee. So obviously you're gonna get more, more in there. More bulbous. Yes. And again, it reads the barcode. I don't know if I made this clear, but it reads the barcode here, which people love, which to me feels a tiny gimmicky, but it does make it easier to make sure you're getting the right kind Best of coffee. Best believe neighbors, I'm gonna be comparing like this one and this one together to see if like the, the lines like exactly match. <laughs> right. Because I'd like to know if it's just like, you know, for me to feel nice about myself or if it's actually like, if there's a, like a pre-programming feature on this Because it's supposed machine. to, as far as temperature, um, time, and amount of water to use. So obviously we know that this pod espresso is going to be a, a shorter, a smaller amount of water. Right. This is going to be your seven ounces. And then of course the other ones that are called the Altos are the 14 ounces. But again, this is, just, I mean, it just is. It's a nice. It feels like, it's, it feels very luxurious, yeah. which whatever, it's fun. <laughs> and this gives you all the details of it. So get into those later. Let's continue the unboxing here. So pretty straightforward. You've got your 60 ounce capacity and then the machine itself. So lift that. Careful, don't, yeah. Straight out. 
Um, so what, what is kind of cool about this actually is, this is your water reservoir, and as you can see, so it goes on here, clicks in, and what's kind of cool, again, gimmicky, but I suppose nice. Uh, Depending on the configuration of your, of your it actually swivels, counter. So you can put it mm -hmm. behind. You can so put it to the left or to the right, so we'll put it to the right for now. But yeah, it actually nice break it, Josh. easier to move just this way, back or to the left, but I'd say that's the worst because then your pour yeah. is in the way. I kind of like this to the right. So obviously we're gonna put it in our coffee bar, but for now we can just show it here. And then in the back here is just where the pods fall out and go in here um, when, they're, when they've been used. So this sits here now, the, the rumors online are that sometimes this leaks. Anyhow, now that is on there, on there well. I wouldn't move that when that's on there, but anyhow. So there's that. Again, right, we're do, what we're doing right now is just the initial setup, and then we'll do a brew, and we'll do more in-depth review at another time. Now what is interesting, I think, with, that, with this, which is kind of cool. Um, so this is your drip tray, again, this is your chrome, like pretty heavy metal drip tray, with your little honeycomb insert for drippings and such, just sits in there. And if you see along here, there are four grooves, grooves almost like, like a weight machine in a gym, where this just can kind of set into, Get, you know, right there. If you want to do something short for your espresso cup, or you want to do an actual cup here, or here, or all the way down at the bottom. So for now, we'll do it at the bottom. Now it is about a half an inch off the ground, so it does not. It's not flush. It's not flush, which is fine. And we're going to turn it on. So press the coffee button, which is up here, up top. So you're going to press. I'll that do it once. What color is that? Green. That is green, and it's blinking. I, I assume because it's heating up. Hmm. And now we can actually show how it opens and closes. It's supposed to be a very nice, satisfying. Mm -hmm. So we Ooh. automated, and then you put your pod in there, and then you, yeah. and then it, in there. Obviously, nothing in there right now. So I suppose we wait until this stops. Yes, blinking. just like the regular Nespresso machine. Okay. Okay. So it has made it through three rinse cycles. This glass is now exceptionally hot. Exceptionally hot. Oh boy. Um, and then we're going to brew from our a decaf. Section here. Um, again, the light is green. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, I'm not gonna close it right. No, you're not. Okay, so the this oh, of course thing. it's this one. No, this is one of the espresso ones, darling. This is, <gasps> mm -hmm. um, and again, this one is a level five intensity. Okay, would you like? Well, I'll put this in. Mm -hmm. Just drop it in there, straight up. Yep. And then you can close the lid. And it's a soft click, you don't have to like force anything. Oh no, it's fully automatic. Yeah. And then just push that once, and it will no. re spin it to read it. Did it. And then it's gonna make our <clears throat> cafe. Now it's spinning the coffee as it's infusing with water. Wow. Very nice. Look at that. You can see, start to see the three layers. So you have yes. the black on the bottom, like a minute meeting like around mixed, there. Yeah. And then the, the crema. crema. Beautiful. I can smell it from here. It's quiet, guys. It's a lot more quiet than our original line. And supposedly the Virtua, Virtua Plus is a lot more quiet than the original Virtua as well. Mm -hmm. And it's not fast. It's not a Keurig that does something in 20 seconds, but you're getting. But do you want it to? Cup. No. I mean, how amazing. much in a hurry are you? Yeah. And now it's doing the final spin to really extract everything and dry out the pot, essentially. Wonderful. Final, some final drips. And drip then, dry. if you want to film this up here, I'm going to open Hold it. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to open this, and it's going to drop the pod down to the back of the receptacle. Woo! This falls back there. And then you can close this. And then I'll show you. I'll just pull out here. Oh, okay. The receptacle. Bring this bad boy out here. It's probably pretty hot. Doesn't puncture the bottom, just the top here. So there's all those little holes, and then one right in the center. 
Great. And then it spins it to get the coffee out of it. Very, very interesting. So I'll just very cool for now. Bye. Put this receptacle back on. Just kind of sits on there. And that's it. So is it let's do a quick test of the temperature. And then you can drink it. And then I'd love to stir it to see how much the, the crema incorporates. Okay. So this came out right at about, and this was cold water. I don't know if it makes any difference. It shouldn't. It should brew what it wants to. Right around 148, which means it should be. Oh, that's plenty warm. It should, it should be drinkable. The, yeah. Some people complain that it doesn't come out hot enough because they want it to be scalding Touch hot. the glass, guys. It's totally, oh, come on. This is fine. That's nice. That's totally fine. You mean, you mean it's hot enough or it's cool enough? It's totally, totally like, I don't know, like it might not be ready to drink for you because you hate hot things. Like, oh, then let me just taste it then if you think I don't like hot okay. things. So there it is. The, the crema's clearing up a little bit here. And remember, I don't like my coffee black. Oh, it smells so good. A little bitter because it's, A, it's black coffee and decaf, I feel like has a more bitterness, but really, can I smell it? Good flavor though. Again, I, I would prefer this with a little bit of cream in there or some milk. Even by itself, that is pretty damn delicious. I take it back, it's not bitter, it's just intense. It's an intense roast. Mmm. It's not acidic. No, I don't think so either. Oh my god. I love low acid coffee because, um, yeah. Gets your gases going otherwise. That's nice, right? So overall, again, that's mm. our first. I think it's great. Yeah, so that's our unboxing and first impressions. Mm -hmm. We will definitely give a more in-depth review at some point. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'll give an update if anything goes good or bad with this. Uh, and again, this is an Espresso Virtuo Plus Deluxe, the DeLonghi model. And uh, yeah, and until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.